really want to spend some time thinking about language. So um, DSM-5, I told you that's what we use to make the diagnosis. In DSM-5, everything is called a substance use disorder. DSM-4, the predecessor version, use the diagnostic terms substance abuse and substance dependency. And um, very intentionally, DSM-5 has changed the terminology to use disorder because this is incredibly stigmatizing language, right? When I say abuse to you, I, you know, I don't think that conjures images of like serenity, you know, peace, well-being, right? It conjures images of, of domestic violence, um, you know, violent situations, just really negative things. So when we refer to patients as substance abusers, um, that's incredibly stigmatizing, uh, and it's that years and years of that treatment of, um, of those individuals is why there's incredible mistrust um, of medical providers. And then also um, it adds to um, uh, uh, sort of policy making, um, right? Why, why we may not fund programs or, um, or create supports for people with substance use disorders. So, um, so another sort of key pearl I'm hoping for tonight is that we all sort of change our language and change the language that we see our peers and friends use. You know, so, um, uh, so, so I do that too. And I say, yeah, you know, actually it's kind of interesting. We don't use the term substance abuse anymore. It's kind of like, you know, a fun fact to really share with people. So I encourage you to do that.